Hello, YouTube. We are back for the attack with another issue in relation to Captain Arrow. So, right here is the interior of the book. And the front page is the worst out of all of the wraps. The reason being this was a very difficult page to work on because it was very brittle. The whites are Tengojo paper because it was necessary to reinforce the front page. And I had a few issues with it since the last upload, which was a bunch of pictures that I want to quickly discuss. So the issues that I had were that the first three wraps of this book, I re-leaf casted them. And the reason why I re-leaf casted them was twofold. First, the actual casting that adheres to the original paper was not sound because the original paper was in fact very brittle and not in the greatest condition. So I had to re-leaf cast the first three wraps. Also what I did was I individually pressed each one of the pages independently from the other. And I had to do that because I wanted to keep the curve in the spine right here which I am very happy that the curve came out nicely. And as you saw in the montage, it's a lot of work to do the curve. So also I have an issue with the cover. And the cover is going to be the topic of the next upload. So we're not going to discuss it now. What I want to do is I want to prepare the actual book the interior for the staples. Now I did not put the staple in yet. So we're gonna disregard my upload in relation to the staple that I discussed the fun facts that Mike Knight Tiger gave me. The interior of the book came out dynamite minus the first three because I had a lot better paper to work on. It was a lot stronger, but don't get me wrong. There were still rips that had to be repaired. And when you do this, you have to just step back a second because you're not going to make it perfect with color match. It's impossible because every page is different. I take back saying it's impossible. If you spent years and years trying to do it, I'm sure it could be done like anything, but time is something that we have and it's precious. But I'm spending a lot of time on this book and I'm really learning a lot and enjoying what I'm doing. But next upload, you're going to hear why and what I learned, one of the most important things. So you see how the curve on, I hope the camera's picking it up on the spine is very nice. This is how golden age books should be. You just so that's why I had to I had to press each page individually. You don't just fold it and put it in the press so you have one crease going down the middle because number 1 the leaf casting can break, number 2 that's not how the books were from the factory. So I want to prep this for the staple. I'm going to install the staple differently when the book is folded, and I'll show you how I'm going to do it in the future. But I'm going to do a little cheating, and I hope it's not cheating, but I, I don't think it is personally. I want to glue each one of the pages together. And the reason why I want to glue each one of the pages together is because... I want this book to last for another hundred years. And the single staple that we have that is going to hold this book together 
I don't think it's going to be strong enough or long enough. So I just want to give the book a little extra support. So how are we going to do this? I'm going to put a, each page on my trusty container here with my skewer. That's not a dowel, that's a skewer. Then what we have is my methyl cellulose. So what I want, I'm going to do is I am going to take some methyl cellulose and I'm going to put a dab on each page on the spine where the staple goes just like that so we're going to give it or two dabs we're going to give the book some extra support so it stays together a little longer hopefully now that is the centerfold so what i want to do is i want to get the next page that goes on top of the centerfold. And this is very important to do in order. And we're gonna drop it down. And I wanna line up the tops. The tops are the important. They are the important aspects that we wanna line up because the bottom, I am gonna turn around and we're gonna sand them. So that looks lined up. I just banged it down and I'm gonna put it back down on the skewer. So I wanna dry this. So I'm gonna use a heat gun and I'm gonna gently pressure wise where I put the glue so we can dry it nicely and make sure there is adhesion. And that's it. Roll it nice with the spoon. This is a spoon from Disney. Sometimes I like to take things that fall on the floor. Okay, so right there, I feel it worked. And we have the connection and it dried. So I'm going to do this for each page of the book, making sure we do it in order because we do not want to do things out of order because then that would be horrible. So let's do another one, making sure the top is lined up. We're going to put a little dab of methyl cellulose right by the staple area to give it some extra support for the future generations. I want this book to be here. Look how nice this, this page came out. See how it's still flaking off a little bit here and there, but it really came out nice, the pages, the majority of them. As I said, the first three pages we're no bueno. Well, I made them as best as I, I could. So let's heat this up, giving it a little extra support. And by doing this, we're gonna give the staples a lot better, or the one staple, a lot better chance to survive. And I have a few methods by which I'm going to install the staples mulling around in my mind. Look at this nice page right here with Nazis, Nazi planes. Look how beautiful this came out, guys. Unfortunately, not every page came out like this. Look at this guy. Jerry, Jerry, good heaven, he's dead. That's Jerry right there, me. So, um, unfortunately, they all did not come out like these inner wraps because as we know and as i said there were different stages of conditions in this book it really suffered a long life some pages aged better than others and 
the ones that age better than others are the ones that we're looking at right now. They were protected by the cover or whatever was protecting the book during its long life. So right here, I'm heating it up. Another thing that's important is that when I basically pressed each interior page, I did it where I inserted paper between the fold because I didn't want to crush the seam. So I inserted paper. Look how nice this page came out with a split spine. It really came out wonderful in my opinion. Look at that Nazi flag explosions. This is really a wonderful book. Mike is very lucky to have it, but we know Mike has a lot of good books and hopefully this one will stay in his collection for a long time. And like I said, I'm very happy that he allowed me to work on it, just like the other books that I worked on for people, Metarog and a few others. But this one I have to say is very special because I definitely learned a lot doing this one. Let's heat it up. Give the methyl cellulose some heat so it absorbs. nicely in the pages so guys i'm gonna stop the camera now and i'll come back when i'm done with the process or you know what let's do a few more pages why not let's take a look let's get the next one look at this page how it came out look at this curve of the spine look at how the back came out here is evidence of ten gojo paper that I had to put on here because, and here's a evidence of, I had to use mulberry paper because a chunk came off. Is the matching up of the colors perfect? No, I'm not trying to hide that repairs were made, but look at this beautiful page, how the leaf casting came out. I think I can give myself a C, maybe a little bit more, I'm only kidding. But this one came out really well and I'm gonna discuss more at the end what I learned and when I have to re-leaf cast the spine of the cover. Again, that's a hint of what I'm going to do. And I'll tell you why when we get to it. Let's heat it up. Nice with the Heat, the heat gun works very well. Heating up the methyl cellulose dries it relatively quick. Should we be so bold to do another page? Why not? Let's get the next page and see how this one looks. Here we go, I'm showing off each page. Look how that came out, very nice. Look at the back, came out very nice. Here is the interior, look at the fold, look at the leaf casting. I'm very happy with this book and I hope it reflects on camera when I show it because I have to say, this is my best book to date and I have other books that I have, I'm going to work on that I'm gonna even do better because I did learn a few things. And one of the things that I wanna concentrate is dealing with the steps, how I actually do the leaf casting. And one of the things that I'm gonna do differently is I'm going to do the interior first, and then the cover will be last. And after doing the interior, uh, or after doing each page of the interior, I'm not gonna cut each page. I wanna cut each page independently, together I mean, not independently. I wanna do each page together when I cut them. Look at this beautiful page 
That's Miss Victory. I hope you're enjoying looking at the pages. He here is the back. Look how nice the leaf casting. You're going to see it, but this is the interior. What great graphics there is. Look at this Nazi swastika. I know people say I say it wrong. You have the, that funny guy who likes to comment on the way I say things. Now I have another guy who comments who he's not going to watch my uploads anymore because I, I never finish them. And I try to explain to him, I go, how am I going to finish them? I'm working on a book that if I wanted to do one upload, it would be about 10 hours long. I guess he doesn't understand that, but whatever. There'll always be naysayers. There'll always be people who are negative. Doesn't bother me. I actually like it. I like to engage. So I think I'm going to probably wind up doing each page. Maybe you stick with me. Maybe you share the news. Maybe you try to get me more subs, pass the channel along. I have 50 percent approximately of the people who watch my channel are subscribed so that's 50 percent who do not subscribe here is the next page that's captain arrow now we're getting into the captain arrow story look at that simon p buckner very cool let's open it up look at this interior i have to tell you this page right here I leaf casted twice. I was unhappy with the way the leaf casting came out. And no matter what I did to try to make it look better, I was unhappy with it. I lost sleep. So what I did was I removed the leaf casting and I did it again. There's actually four pages that I leaf casted again. And what you guys don't see is... A lot of things off the camera. And if I'm unhappy with something, I'll leaf cast it again and again until I'm happy with the results. I don't like doing things. It really bothers me when I'm unhappy with the results. Another thing is, tell me what you guys think. Do you think that this is cheating what I'm doing now? I don't know. I don't think so. So here is another page that I had a leaf cast again because it was very brittle. No matter what I did, it was brittle, but it came out pretty nice. So what we're going to do is let's glue this. With this page, I want to apply four dots of methyl cellulose because these are the brittle ones and they're not that strong. So I want to try to secure it a little bit better, being that this is just a one staple book. So I don't know, would CGC consider what I'm doing now not conservation? I have to be frank. I actually did this on a few books that I submitted to CGC. And I did, in fact, receive a conserved grade. So to answer my own question, the answer is yes. It is conservation. What I'm doing with the methyl cellulose, I don't think it is a problem. And CGC did not raise a flag or say anything about it. So I think what I'm doing is actually good because it's preserving the book better for future generations, in my opinion. So hopefully this is sticking the way I want it. I'm not putting a tremendous amount of methyl cellulose on. Uh, here is the second to last or first page. And this I had a leak, leaf cast twice. And I ha actually had a leaf cast both sides. So the matching did not line up perfectly with the new 
casting, but we're not hiding it. We're not basically trying to disguise that we did do leaf casting, in my opinion. So for me, I don't mind the difference in color to a degree. I try to do it as close as possible. But again, we're not hiding it. We're not doing something to say, hey, this is a brand new book, because obviously it's not. And it is in a lot better condition than it was. And to me, it will last a lot better. So this sheet also is a little shorter. Um, my, my cutting was a little off, but it's okay. It happens. Let me heat this up. We'll get this hopefully connected nice. This page does have a lot of Ten Gojo paper on it, which is fine because we need it. So here is the last page or the last page of the first page. Now this I want to put a little bit more methyl cellulose just to keep it intact because this guy is not the best shape. And man, I'm sorry for bringing you along guys with this, but it is important if you're interested in how I do things and I hope you're enjoying it. So let's put the first wrap on, place it down. Let's line it up on the front and I'm going to put pressure on it with my hands to secure it on. And what we'll do is we will sand the bottom of this book to make sure that the bottoms are even and in my last upload, in relation to the montage of pictures, I did show a section where I sand it and how I do it. And I, and I hope you see by using the wet sandpaper, but I do it dry. Let's shape this in nicely with the heat. So let's just make sure we're connected. Let me run some more heat on it. Okay, I think we're good. So what I want to do is I want to gently remove the book. Take this off. Okay. So that's it, guys. I want the methyl cellulose to dry. Let's give it a little hit. So what I want to do is I want to put some paper in the middle let's get the middle page let's open it up because now we're going to put this under the cold press and we're going to let this sit nicely and let it dry and then we're going to measure it with not a straight edge, but we're going to measure it with this, a cloth ruler. And this is how I'm going to get the dimensions when we re-leaf cast the actual cover again, just the spine. So stay tuned, guys. This is not the best looking front cover or front wrap of the inside, but it's the best that I could have done and it went through many leaf castings and the white again is the Tengojo paper but it was necessary. I hope you enjoyed the upload. 
look out for the next one. And we're almost done, guys, so stay tuned.